Hello everyone today I am going to Bangalore Literature Festival which is held at Hotel Lalit Mahal It is a two day event today and tomorrow till 3rd of the December you can go and they have a good tie up with the metro feeder you can get a free metro feeder bus from Vidhan Sabha metro station so you can sit there and listen to so many authors you point and you can ask questions as well so i basically went there to meet uh, sudha murthy so many different uh, kind of people have come there uh, in traditional clothes like you can see different varieties of cotton clothes it's a uh, altogether a different world so you can listen to them and after that you can get a signed copy of the book there's a bookstore you can buy a book for lunch you can get coupons and get some food as well my grand father was a history teacher he would tell you know certain that is vijayanagar empire 1707 when he died 1680 shivaji died of okay, 1770 mm -hmm. 1757 war of uh, uh, plasi uh, panic no war of plasi 1857 the war, war of panipat etc or war of uh, independence But the people will not tell like that. The people will make each incident in history like a story. He will take us, you with his own money, he will take us to Hampi and explain. Here said Krishna Dev Varaya, actually there was nothing there. So, imagine, here said Krishna Dev Varaya and he gave away, you know, thousands of kgs of gold as a dana, this, that. He will make it life and that making a thematic history as an enchanting history. story was a great technique which bindu is to use and i loved that i loved and because of that i loved history not because my grandfather in 1776 you know so not that it is thematic reading is different making it to much more human is different and love for kannada and whatever i have today love for history and kannada is only because of bindu because he he with all his vast setting he introduced Kannada language to me, along with Karnataka history. So he is my first character in this book. I will never forget. I'm sure if you, if you take some time, peep in your life and look left and right, front and back. Okay, back you can't, but if you want, you you come to such characters even in your life, but you will not write, you will not remember. Then it's okay. If you have that mindset, what I see. Who has helped me? I want to write down. You can get uh, thousands of Hindus probably sitting over here. Somebody who helped you without expecting anything and made you to kindle either history or language or cooking or embroidery or or conversation. Someone has influenced you in your childhood, but we don't make an effort to write it down. So when I go to the house, they will serve me food, and you know there are uh, I have seventy-five uh, first cousins. Oh. Everybody has a family tree. I have a family forest. <laughs> okay, and I have equal number of friends. I have equal number of friends. My father was a professor and a doctor. Whenever I go to the city, I'm sure you guys will understand that. Either they will be her patient, or that person will be his student. <laughs> so only entire family we knew very well. So Monday I go to somebody's house for lunch. Okay, after lunch they automatically will give me dinner. <laughs> so all seven days I go to seven houses. So seventy-five people, about hundred people. Three months I need not go. I go to three hundred. How is all near by? It's not like Bangalore going to Malaysia or Jaipur or no. And seven days you can reach anybody's house. And you don't have to call. I'm coming for lunch and all. If there are three people in the house, they will put order for five people. That is our custom. So here I am the fourth one. Okay, I will go. Eat and they automatically give me a dapa or a lunch box. for dinner so i without any kitchen i can live in my city for 3 months without kitchen i can live after 3 months again i can start from the beginning four times in a year if i come to your house four times in a year so i'm happy so the rate of 300 to four times sorry 3 months to four times in one year so without cooking i can live in my place But my fridge will actually have two refrigerators because I bring lunch, dinner from everybody's house. They are full of it. Lunch boxes. So Mr. Muthi is asking me, how do you remember this is the whose lunch box is what? One is we have a custom in Hubli. Whenever you buy a steel vessel, no, this belongs to Sudha Narayan Muthi. Day Hubli. Or this is presented to Sudha Narayan Muthi on the way. Or special occasion of our wedding, 10 to 1978. All his whole history. So I have the names. 
have a good memory for Tupperware is from Ansuya's house. Okay, plastic is from Janki's house. So I or Mehndi is from Piranbi's house. Then Patnekai, the the Vanda Vandai Patnekai or this Bhinjol sabji is always from Gursi Tapa's house. So I know place also. So all the you know thirty forty dabas in my refrigerator. And one day I don't have one Sunday. Let's assume that I don't have any invitation. Then what I will do? If I have a dabba or lunch box from Bharti's house, I will take it. I say, Bharti, I come to your house to deliver that. <laughs> I don't give it. I don't give it. Empty box. That bad man. That empty box should be never given. I'll put a biscuit packet. <laughs> or some, a bunch of flowers. Or if I have a mango season, you know, two mangoes in that. I think, I, Bharti, I have not given you the dabba for last 20 days, so I have come to return. I'm going to 12-12 every time. But you say, you say, you are some. I will say, I will say, I will say. So, somebody called me, there was a fight between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law cooking competition. You would be like, any other thing? Mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, no competition. So, they called me as a judge, you know. They said, both of us will give you food and you should judge. And I said, oh, it is not that, you know, I want to judge. A is better than B. And both of them wanted to give me Tiffin boxes. I said, for me, tiffin box is like, like a bridge. All of us are islands in life. I myself, my own work, I'm so busy. Everybody is busy. How I and you should be connected? If two islands have to be connected, they require a bridge. For me, bridge is a tiffin box. If I want, then I always have a tomato. I can order and eat. I can do all those things. I can afford to have a cook at home. And I can eat. I purposely do this one, otherwise I will never meet my friends. <laughs> if I am hungry, I also know that I eat at home. But I want to go to Bharti's house in the pretext of giving her dapa because I can meet her and talk to her. Bharti also must have been under tremendous pressure, stress due to maybe mother-in-law, due to maybe husband, due to maybe today's children also. So when I go there, Bharti says, please sit down. Oh, my son did like that, my daughter now did like that, something she will tell me. So it's very familiar to me. Every region has their own pluses and minuses. Or their own way of living. For culture, that's called culture. The culture is formed over a period of time. For example, the culture in Northern Karnataka is so different than Bangalore. The Bangalore culture is so different than Hassan. Hassan is so different than Mangalore. So, in India, when you drive 150 kilometers, you are dressed normally change, color combination is change. What I am wearing is Dharwan Sarah. <laughs> your cuisine will be different, your food habits will be different. Your Kannada, even though you speak Kannada, dialect is different. And it is a function of so many reasons. So, I have this simple principle. Flat land means people are more open. Okay? There is nothing to hide. The nature doesn't hide anything. So are the people. So the, I am born and brought up in Northern Karnataka, which is today called Northern, once upon a time because it was the southern state of Maharashtra, which was ruled by different people. It was ruled by Kadambas, Chalukya, Rashtrakutas, Vijayanagar, etc. And you know, Mughals and the other Shahis. So our language, Kannada, has all the traces of the different languages. Like we use Marathi in between, we use Urdu in between, we use the the word from Persian, Persian language, we use the word from Arabic. So, Prakrit, so this is a different dialect. And I wrote about the 14 characters which are all real, by the way. And I became, you know, writing on someone is easy, writing on yourself is more important. And so I make fun of myself at the end. I become Nalini, the little girl who peeps in everybody's life.